all right then welcome back everyone let's solve this question two permutations and this is the last video of this playlist so if you have made till this video uh, give yourself a pat and yeah let's wrap up this playlist on a high note two permutations so the question is two permutations so let me read out the question for you you are given three integers n a and b determine if there exists two permutations p and q of length n for which the following conditions hold now will be given basically three integers n a and b and uh, i guess n a and b all are positive ones determine if there exists two permutations what is the permutation uh, i guess uh, up till up and until this video if you are watching you know what is the definition of permutation it's just a array if a permutation it's just an array which contains all the elements in 1 to n exactly once in any order right so you have defined it permutation of length n is containing each integer 1 to n exactly once in any order right so yeah so definition of permutation should be clear to you up and until now so we have to find out like we have to basically determine if there exists two permutations p and q of length n for which these conditions hold the longest common prefix of p and q is a and longest common suffix of p and q is b so basically what they are saying is let's say this is my p and this is my q this is p permutation q permutation and the length of longest common prefix so basically let's say this was the common part in both longest common prefix should be a and length of longest common suffix that is uh, this part length of longest common suffix should be b that's what they are asking right so given basically these three integers n a and b determine that is either say yes or no if such permutations if you can figure out this p and q permutation they are not asking for the actual permutations but they are just asking whether it is possible to create these two permutations such that longest common prefix longest common prefix is of size a and longest common suffix is of size b now that's that cool so Fine. So that's that about the question. Now let's try to make sense out of this question. How are we going to solve it? So we just have to print either yes or no. Okay. If permutations exist, then print yes. Otherwise, print no. And output uh, each letter in any case. Fine. No issues in that. So the definition of permutation is clear, right? So it just contains uh, all the integers in one to n exactly well. So now let's just take an example to make things more clear. So let's say I have n equals to maybe uh, as I already told you, you should always try to take bigger values, like maybe greater than five or something. Let's just take uh, n equals to six, right? No issues. N equals to six. So I have to come up with two permutations, p and q, and a and b will also be given, right? So a and b will also be given. I have to come up with two permutations, p and q. That is, the elements that are allowed are one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So these are the allowed elements, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can use every element exactly once, okay? Not more than that, not less than that. So yeah, so we have to come up with this p and q permutation. How are we supposed to come up with this permutation? Okay, okay. If I can draw the shape correctly, yeah. Okay, so I have to come up with this two permutation p and q such that let's say if this a was two and this b was three, then uh, b was three. Fine, no issues. So to come up with this, uh, maybe I can just take both of them to be two. No issues. So I have to come up with the permutation such that the first two elements, the first two elements of p and q, should be same. So the length of longest common prefix should be a, and the last two elements, the last two elements. Has to be b. So basically, again, last two elements also have to be same. The length of longest common suffix, length of longest common suffix is b, right? And there should be at least one difference here, right? So the length of basically the first two elements have to be same, and at this point, definitely a different element should exist. Here, last two elements have to be same, definitely a different element should exist. That's what they're asking. So can you come up with a permutation? Is my question. So they are asking that the first two elements of both the arrays uh, should be same, right? So let's uh, try to create a array. Array, right? So permutation also an array only. So let's try to create. So first two elements are equal, right? So let's just use one to add first elements in both the arrays. So now one to have used, fine. And now let's try to match the suffix. So maybe I'll just use five six, okay? Hmm. So I'll just return in sorted order, but it's really not doesn't make any difference whether you write in sorted order or not. But fine. So I'm, I want to match the prefix, right? So I'll just use the two elements at the start and two elements at the end. So basically two elements. I made sure that first two elements of both the arrays are equal. So now I know the length of longest common prefix is two, and then I put the last two elements same. So now now I know the length of longest common suffix is two, but I have to make sure one thing, right? I have to make sure one thing that these remaining two elements are filled in a way that the prefix length or suffix length don't increase. For example, uh, basically I have taken one, two, five, six. Now I cannot put three, four like this, right? I cannot put three, four like this because now the length of longest common prefix will become the entire array size. Here, length of longest common prefix will become again the entire array size. So to put these two elements in a way uh, that the prefix and suffix don't increase. So getting what I'm trying to achieve here, 
I'm first trying to achieve this is a constructive algorithm, right? So I'm just trying to do what the question is asking me to do. I'm trying to create these two permutations P and Q such that length of longest common prefix is A and length of longest common suffix is B. So I did it. I made the first two elements same because that was size of A. Then I made the last two elements same. Now what are the remaining elements? The remaining elements uh, are that the remaining elements I'll try to put in a way that the suffix and prefix length don't increase. Suffix and prefix length don't increase. So how should I put four five? How should I put four five? Of course, I should put in a way that suffix length and prefix length don't increase. So maybe I can just put some any random order. I just have to make sure that they differ from one point, right? So if they differ on one element after the prefix, so if I just put five four here, and they differ from the just one element uh, before the suffix, then they, the suffix and prefix length won't increase, right? So what I'm saying is, so this was the longest common prefix that we set up with. Now we just make sure that the element after the element after on on both is different, then the prefix length won't increase. Now before the suffix, if you make sure, like that the position before the um, suffix length that you desire, make sure that the elements are different, elements are different, then you can be sure, then you can be sure the suffix length won't increase, right? So frankly, uh, this is what uh, this is what our strategy is. First, make sure that first a elements are equal in both the both the permutations. You are trying to form PQ, right? So this is this is this should be our strategy basically. First, try to make sure that the prefixes of both the arrays are same. Then try to make sure the suffixes of both the arrays are same. So this is of size B. And to make sure that the prefix length doesn't increase, prefix length doesn't increase, just make sure that this pair is different. This pair, whatever you put here is different. Okay, this pair, whatever you put here is different. Similarly, this pair, the one just before, one just before the suffix should be different. That's what you want, right? So that's exactly what you want. So it doesn't matter what you put here to match the prefix size, it doesn't matter what you put in match the suffix size, but make sure the pair, the the pair of corresponding elements after the prefix should be different and the pair of corresponding elements before the suffix before the like before this like the suffix and z right this should be different so you got the point right what we are trying to achieve here fine so if we can do this if we can do this then definitely we can get a permutation they're not asking about our permutation but i just try to create the permutation and see if it works or not right so this is our strategy now we just need to find out in what type of it in what values of n in what values of n a and b we are able to perform this kind of stuff, right? Match the prefixes, match the suffixes, and just make sure one after the prefix and one before the suffix, uh, the pair after the prefix and pair before the suffix is different. Okay, fine. Okay, so in what cases like do you think this is never possible? Like, can you think about a case uh, when this is not possible? Can you think here only? In what case it won't be possible? Can you think here in what case it wouldn't have been possible? Just look at this example. When, when do you think uh, you wouldn't be able to make this distinction like one pair after the a you wouldn't be able to make different and one pair before the b you wouldn't be able to make different if i just change this b if i change this b to 3 if i just change b to 3 let's say then you will have to match this also right you will have to match this also you'll have to match this also right and if you match this you are left with no other option but automatically so basically you'll have to match this also you'll try to put four here but if you are matching if you are matching here n minus 1 elements right basically you are matching all the n minus 1 elements then by default the last element is going to be matched okay okay i went i think i went a little bit fast here so what i telling is let's you try to put 1 2 here you try to put 1 2 here and in the end let's say you try to put 4 5 so let's say my n was 5 my n was 5 my n was 5 so if your prefix length is 2 and a suffix length is 2 right so prefix length is 2 suffix length is 2 is basically that you are trying to match a plus b elements here a for prefix b for suffix the one element you have, you don't have any choice. You don't have any choice. This, this will be automatically matched. This will be automatically matched. And in this case, the longest common prefix will be the entire array and longest common suffix will also be the entire array. Right? This is the longest one prefix, the entire array, and this is the longest common suffix, entire array. Right? Makes sense. So basically, and anyway, uh, if you had something like this also, let's say you were trying to match first three elements, and uh, B was last four elements. B was last four elements. B was last four elements. Now, if you try to do this, if you try to do this, what do you think will happen? If you try to do this, what do you think will happen? See, you'll try to match, uh, basically this was n equals to five case, right? So you'll try to match first three elements. You'll try to match first three elements. And now you'll try to match more elements at the end. So this is not possible. If you try to do this, if you try to do this, again, P and Q will be exactly same. You will make P and Q exactly same. So the argument that I'm making is, the argument that I'm making here is, if, if a plus b, if a plus b is a 
greater than equals to n minus 1 greater than equals to n minus 1 greater than equals to n minus 1 p and q will basically when you try to when you try to match this arrays when you try to match this arrays p and q will be same right why do you think why do you think this happens see you are trying to match some elements here you are trying to match some elements here and then you are trying either trying to overlap you are trying to overlap the prefix and suffix if you are making sure that the first three elements are same and then you are making uh, sure that the last four elements are same anyways we are in a way you are saying that the entire array is same right if you are telling that okay first three elements should be same and then last four elements should be same so what you are saying you are in a way saying the entire array should be same even if you just say first two elements and last two elements are same doesn't matter what you say about this remaining element right so if a plus b is greater than equals to n minus 1 eventually both the arrays will be same right the candidate p and q that you are trying to get will be same that is the main idea here i think you got it right so see you try to construct p and q you try to construct p and q you try to match first a last b and i and to make sure that this is the longest prefix this is the longest suffix you need to break it that is just one pair after it you should make it different and one pair before you should make it different but when do you think it is not possible when do you think it is not possible when a plus b is greater than equals to n minus 1 right a plus b is greater than equals to n minus 1 why because in this case the entire arrays will match the entire arrays will match so what do you think uh, should be the algorithm now if a plus b is greater than equals to n minus 1 in this case your candidate permutations will be exactly same so in this case the answer can be yes if and only if a is n and b is n right so if you want the length of longest common prefix and the suffix to be n then only the answer is possible a plus b greater than equals to n minus 1 then you sure then when you try to formulate your p and q they will be entirely same so in this case the answer only exists the value of p and q only exists if a is also n and b is also n that is you are after actually a length of longest common you want the length of the longest common prefix to be n and length of longest common suffix to be n right else no otherwise it's always possible right so if a plus b is if a plus b is not greater than equals to n minus 1 then definitely it's always possible how that i already showed you put a elements here put b elements here and then you will have at least two elements you will have at least two different elements remaining and you can use them to break the pairs right so that we already know this construction this construction you're already aware of right because even like if a plus b is less than n minus 1 you'll put a you'll make sure a are same you'll make sure b are same and there will be at least two distinct elements remaining using which you can break the uh, you can make sure that prefix doesn't increase and suffix doesn't increase okay guys so Welcome to the final implementation video, of course, for this playlist. So I have taken the input here. And what we need to check? If a plus b is greater than or equal to n minus 1, then in this case, you can only formulate your permutations. If a is n, the length of longest common prefix is n, the length of longest common prefix uh, suffix is b. Sorry, length of com longest common suffix is n. Okay, in this case, you can only make p n. And because of the overlapping part is the entire array itself. Otherwise, no. If A and B has some any other value, no, because it's not possible otherwise. Okay. Otherwise, you're always possible, okay? right? I already showed you how. Just uh, match the first P elements, match the la match the first A elements, match the last B elements, and just make one distinction. Right? So that's that. So let me just quickly run it. Yeah, yes, no, no, yes. Fine. So that's what I expected. Yes, no, no, yes. So I'll just quickly submit it and see if it works. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in some other playlist. So I don't know what I'm going to start now. Probably I'll start nine hundred related questions, but we'll see. So we are done with 800 related questions for this sheet. Uh, very much thanks for watching till this part. And I'll see you in the next one.